Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube and I'm your host Mohammed Azam and in this particular screencast I will show you how you can create reusable cells for your UI table view control. Now if you are I think it's iOS 4 or previous one you have to create the nib at which we're going to do but there's a different way of loading a nib okay so in iOS 5 that code has been greatly reduced so let's see why would you create a reusable uh, control when you can actually uh, use the cells over here like in the storyboard so this is what I've done uh, this is a simple storyboard for an iPhone application and this is an iPhone storyboard and I can go ahead and create these things I can go ahead and create a label let me actually go ahead and resize or try to resize this okay so I can create the cell right over here by dragging everything over here okay so I can drag it over here and I can link to my UI table view controller or if well in this case I'm doing a custom cell so I can uh, set up the class for this particular cell to my custom cell. Now, this is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the only problem which will arise later on is that you will, you have a custom cell or you design a custom cell using the prototype cells in the storyboard, like right over here, and now you want to reuse that into a, another UI table view control, so you cannot. And what I have seen uh, people doing is people literally copying the cell with, you know, command C and pasting it on the new one or on the uh, new UI table view. And that kind of creates a duplicate code. It creates a lot other uh, problems like now you have to, if you want consistency, your image is like maybe 200 pixels. Then you go to the other UI table view and then you set the pixels for that particular two, uh, you know, 200 pixels. So it uh, becomes a lot of work. Instead, what you can do is you can simply create a cell uh, that can be reused in different UI table view controls. So this is when we run the application right now, you can see there's no data available. Um, I already created a customer class which has a name and I think I have a customer service so let's implement the customer service it's nothing really complicated uh, just going to return some data so that we can uh, work with so let's say get customers okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and implement that uh, go ahead and this is pretty much the code that you are you're always already familiar with because it doesn't really do any uh, you know any complicated stuff basically and I'm just going to return NS mutable array and get customers and uh, you know you can create a customer and you can create an array you can say customers NS mutable array and then simply initialize the array and uh, customer and I, I know I mean you probably are already familiar with what I'm doing right now but uh, I have uh, you know people sometimes email uh, saying that uh, okay how do I build a customer okay so let's just create a customer John Doe and now finally what you're going to do is you're going to add the object uh, let's say customer and then return customers okay so now this is our uh, the table view controller we can go ahead and import uh, customer.h and then we can import uh, customer service okay but now we have to design something for this particular cell so in that case what you're going to do is you're going to add a new file and you're going to add uh, a user uh, interface and then add a view so that view will be the nib file which we can use so I can say re usable cell and of course it's much better to give it a more appropriate name than a reusable cell it comes with this view and you don't really need this particular view because we are just going to use a UI table cell uh, 
there we go so you can simply drag the UI uh, cell over here and you can uh, you know start creating whatever uh, things that you like so you can simply drag a label over here okay a uh, couple of thing uh, restoration uh, the identifier basically over here so we are just going to see reusable uh, cell and of course you can use any type of identifier that you can use um, other thing is the class which is right now UI table view cell so it will be a good idea to add another class so I'm just gonna go to Coco touch select objective C and I'm going to create a class once again I'm just gonna call it reusable cell and it will inherit from uh, UI table view cell you can always give it a more appropriate name depending on your project and everything so here is our uh, reusable cell class okay and this can actually expose some of the properties uh, which are contained in the in the uh, nib file so IB outlet and UI label and I can say a name label quite slow working right it's quite slow because of the recording of the screen so here we go so name label and we have this and now we have to once again go back to our nib file select this and instead of this class we can say that this class is actually reusable cell making sure that the reusable cell uh, this can of course be different than, than the class name I mean you can simply assign it anything you want uh, now if you basically right click on it you can see your name label I believe it's this one which you can connect to the label so that is done so all that is left for you to do is and now that particular cell you can you know use it so anytime you have a requirement that you have to display a label in a table view cell you can use this cell of course there are already Apple already provides you with certain uh, styles of cell which consists with label and subtitle but let's assume that you want an image on the left hand side you want uh, rounded corners for the cell maybe you also want subtitle like over here and you want something over here and you know all that stuff and 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 also assuming that you will also reuse that in multiple views of your UI table view controller or wherever you're displaying UI table view let's go over here um, and then I can say reusable cell okay so here it is uh, in the view that load we have to first register that particular cell that we created so that the table view knows what we are actually talking about so I'm just gonna say self dot table view and then now there are different methods for it. you can register a class or you can register a nib so we are just going to register a nib okay and then nib with name so what is the name of the nib it is a reusable cell bundle is nil we are not using any bundle and now be careful with this because there are different methods uh, but and we want to use this one for cell reuse identifier if you are of course trying to customize the header and footer then you're going to use uh, the um, for header footer view reuse identifier but we're going to use that and uh, identifier is actually reusable cell um, you know you can actually create let's say if I can say string um, reusable cell identifier and then we can say reuse the bull cell okay so reusable cell and uh, we can actually use it over here just to clean it up a little bit okay so now at this point uh, our table view has registered the nib 
uh, which is called for the nib name is actually reusable cell. You can use this if you want. Uh, and the identifier we are using is reusable identifier, which of course maps to this one. Uh, we have already set up the reusable identifier. If you click over here, it's via the reusable cell, right? So we are good to go at that point. Um, let's actually go ahead over here and uh, declare a property, uh, or not a property, but a field. Let's say this will be called array and then customers. In the view did load, we are going to say, um, is it customer service? Service, and this is just to load the data. We have done this uh, thousands of times before. All right, but just for if you are watching it for the first time, these videos, I highly recommend that you check out the old videos also because we have done this step hundreds of times. Okay, service, and then we're going to say get customers. So at this point, we will have the customers. And now all is left to do is to go into these uh, a number of sections in table view, which will return one. Uh, number of rows in table view. So let's go ahead and return uh, customers and then count. And this is where you need to get the cell. We're not going to use this. Uh, and table view has multiple methods. So this one is table view DQ reusable cell with identifier, cell identifier for index path. So we're not going to use this one because we are getting the, the cell uh, using the reusable cell identifier. Make sure you, you know, get that. And then uh, this will be called reusable cell. And then you can actually configure the cell over here. Cell dot uh, name, name label dot text equal to and you can get the value over here. I'm just going to say John Doe over here. Let's run it and see if we have done everything correctly. Of course, at this point, before configuring the cell, uh, you need to get the data. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, self dot table view. Wow, it is slow. Reload data. Let's see if we are doing anything wrong. Hmm. So we have name cell. Um, let's see if it even reaches at this point. Uh, customer. Oh, are we returning any customer? I believe we are. So we are returning John Doe as a customer. So that should not be any problem. Okay. Uh, let me see. I think we, we haven't set up the class over here. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. See, so this will be um, customers, this one. Let's run it. So this is getting fired. And here we go. So we got the John Doe over here. Okay. And that is how you use reusable cells. Um, so if you, if you later decide that you, your application will have one more table view, which uses the exact same structure for this table cell, then you, you can use this technique to get the table cell, to build a table cell into a nib file and you can actually do that. Now, this has been done a lot of time before in versions like previous versions, previous in iOS 5. The only reason that I showed you is that you don't have to write that much code to achieve this because in iOS, uh, I think before iOS 5, you have to manually create the cell if the no cell is returned. But in this case, 
DQ reusable cell with identifier is going to make sure that if no cell is being returned, if there's no cell to DQ, okay, then it's going to create the cell using the reusable cell identifier. That's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you like this video and I hope you can use this uh, particular technique or basically reusable cell in your next application. Thank you very much.